Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to edit the header of your Wix website in 2023. The header is a crucial part of your website, as it appears at the top of every page. And of course, it sets the tone of your visitors. So in this guide, we'll show you how to customize your Wix website header, giving it a personalized and professional touch. So make sure to stick by and follow this guide step by step. Let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to log in into your Wix account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you are going to use in this tutorial. For me, I'm going to use Brave Browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser this could possibly have or if you have a lot, whatever you prefer. Once you do so, go to the URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. Now, this should take you to the home screen or main screen of Wix websites right away. If it's your first time, you'll be asked to log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, make sure to go and create an account for yourself. And of course, if you don't know much about Wix, you can scroll down in the home page and read more information about it, see the reviews of other people about it, so you can be sure that you want to create an account on this website. And of course, once you are here, uh, or for me, I want, once I type like wix.com, they take me right away to my dashboard. And from here, I can simply access my website. For you, you'll have to access your website or access the editor of the Wix or a Wix editor. So I'm just going to click on this panel or pencil icon, which will take me to the Wix editor right away. For you, make sure to get into your sites. If you just log in into your account, get into the dashboard, go and click on this, my site. Once you do so, you'll be taken to this page and go to whatever site, or you can even go and create your site for new. If you don't know much how to do it, or you want some guidance, I've already made a video on how to create a site on Wix. You can go and check it out if you want to. So now, if you click on the pencil uh, icon, this will open a new tab for you. And this new tab is going to be your website here and here you'll be able to customize your website however you want so as you can see we have this once you click on this quick edit as you can see you'll be able to edit this section and whatever you want on the section as you can see you can slide the, the, the gallery you can change like the font so you'll be able to do everything on the quick edit here on this right panel so we have the content the size the section background stripe background title paragraph layout you'll be able to change whatever you want on it on this quick edit but that's not what we want here. We want to actually edit the header. And to do so, we'll have to access the header. Once you are on the editor, of course, you'll have to navigate to the top section of your website, which is going to be this for me, and click on the header area to select it. And you'll notice, as you can see, like if you click on it, or if you double click on it, of course, you'll find the header design. So you'll be able to change the header design if you double click on the header. So as you can see, so you'll be able to change the header design depending on whatever suits you as an example and some suggested here. If you don't like any of those designs, you can always, as an example, go and click on this customize design. From here, you'll be able to customize it however you want with the background colors, with everything that you want. So as you can see here, we have fill colors and opacity. So depending on whatever you want to do, you'll be able to do it. Of course, if you change like the design, every design has its own features of colors and etc. So, for example, this design has uh, the option to change the background uh, color and exercise. example, you can put it however you want. So, for example, this. And let's just change uh, like some of the settings here. And the center background, of course, you can change it again. An example to this. And I'm just going to make it lighter as an example. And this is going to be the header now. Other than uh, fill color and opacity, we can change the borders. So, here, let's say, example, I will make like some blue borders here. And of course, I will change like uh, the opacity and color. So you can go and play with those settings however you want. So I'm just going to do random things here. Of course, now on the corners, you'll be able to go and edit like the radius of the corners. As you can see, the top left corner, top right corner, uh, the, top, uh, the bottom right corner, and the bottom left corner. So change the radius if you want to, as you can see of this. So as an example, let's change it to, sorry. So it just go to customize and we were on corners and here's an example. I'm just going to type 10. As you can see, you will find 10 or everything. So it's okay. I keep like clicking outside. That's why it's getting out. So I'm just going to do 100 
and click as you can see the borders is changing uh, however we change the radius of like every corner of course you can go and do customized things if you want to or you can go and do however you want so as you can see so other than corners you'll be able to even change the shadow you can apply some shadow and you can choose the angle of the shadow the distance of the shadow the size of the shadow and even the blur of the shadow and of course the color of the shadow once black or any colors that you can you can even edit the theme colors or even my colors from here so depending on whatever suits you that's for this design example other designs as you can see will have just like opacity uh, fill color and opacity and border so depending as i said on the, uh, the design that you are going to choose you will have like different settings for it and of course like some of them that's none so there is no design here we have nothing to change about that so other than that you'll be of course if even to change the text as an example so we have here uh, the text right here you can double click on that and change the theme uh, as example of the text uh, the font of it uh, the font size you can apply some uh, something so like bold like italic underline and etc as an example so depending on whatever suits you even you'll be able to change the effects the character line and the sp spacing and of course vertical text and seo and accessibility other than that, of course, as you can see, we have here on this menu, you'll be able to manage your menu however you want. So that's depending on whatever theme you choose or whatever. Uh, so whatever, like while, while you're creating your website, you choose or you have the option to choose from different websites. So whatever website uh, you choose from, you may find a lot of different things on your header. And you will be, of course, able to manage everything and edit everything on this menu. As an example, for me here on this in this icon, I can change it. Uh, the search button, I can change it. I can even make like the, the title, as an example, as a link clickable. So I can edit the text or even create an AI text or I can example add a link to the text. If people like click on that text, they will be taken to another page. So uh, of course, if you as an example click here, you'll be taken to another page or the home page if you are like on another page. So you can do whatever you want on this menu, on this text, on this uh, design, on whatever you want. So there you have it, as you can see. Once you finish everything, make sure to preview your changes. Click on this preview at the top right corner. Once you do so, you'll be able to preview on the desktop and even on the phone. As you can see from here on the left, we'll be able to preview on the desktop and even on the phone, as we said. So make sure to preview on the phone also, because a lot of people don't pay attention for phone users and they, a lot of uh, op uh, users, of course, use just their phone to access websites like this one to see. If you're satisfied, go and hit the publish button and your Wix website will be published and you'll be good to go. So if you reached this point of this video, congratulations, you successfully learned how to edit the header on your Wix website. By customizing your header, you can create a visually appealing and engaging experience for your site's visitors. Remember to experiment with different elements, design and layout until you find the perfect header that represents your brand and website identity. So thank you for watching and subscribe for our channel if you like this video and even give a like down below. And I'll see you in the next video.